Oh good, you're growing very well, little one. Those leaves are doing much better now. Not so yellow anymore. You're coming along very nicely too. He still talks to his plants. He speaks to them like he didn't murder those humans. Disgusting humans. Losing focus on who you hate here. Ugh. Did you say something? Um, uh... That should be enough leaves. Let's head back home. <sighs> Frisk? I'm a bad kid. Frisk, what brought this on? If this is about whatever has happened... I attacked another kid at school today, Dad. Now, regardless of what happened, I'm sure there was a reason that does not make you a bad... No. I got angry, and I know what you're going to say. It was an accident. But it wasn't. I really hurt him. I wanted him to hurt. I wanted to make him suffer. If someone hadn't stopped me... And you'll say, nah, that's not who you really are. But do you really know that? Every time it gets harder and harder to stop myself. Can't wait for the day when no one is around to stop me. Just can't seem to stop hurting people, it seems. Even when I think I'm doing something for the greater good, someone has to suffer. So... So do you really know? Mm. I think I do, little one. I really do. I... I don't know what else to do. Funny how much you remind me of them. Of who? Kara, my other little one. I do? <laughs> oh, yes. Very much so. Not just in appearances. Now why don't we go start up that tea? We have much to talk about. Dad, now that you mention them, what was Kara like? I will never forget the day they fell down into the underground. Azriel had been playing in the ruins when he found them. When they first arrived at our home, they were quiet, reserved. Really, they hardly spoke out at all. After recovering from their fall, it still took some time for them to come out of their shell. It was Azriel who worked the hardest to bring them out. He really took a shining to them right away. And I think Hera felt the same way with him. And in time they warmed up to Toriel and myself too. That's when we really learned what Kara thought of themselves and others around them. Thanks, Mr. King. You know you can call me Asgore, or even Dad if you like, little one. Uh, okay, Mr. King Dad. Their view on humanity. I cannot imagine what could have caused them to have so much anger in their heart. But they were determined to make sure monsters didn't see them the same way. They had a very strong sense of duty to stand up for what was right. Sometimes it led to more trouble in the end, though I knew their heart was in the right place. It was difficult on them, feeling like they had to make up for the sins of humankind and losing their temper along the way. They were so conflicted with themselves. There are times I wonder if that was how they got so sick in the end. So, Kara had it pretty tough. I had no idea. There was a lot riding on their shoulders. In the end, I know the blame mainly lies with us. We, I, had put so much pressure on Kara, always saying that they were the future of humans and monsters. I often forgot they were just a child. The burden of being future of monsters shouldn't have all been on them alone. And even now, I very well might be doing the same thing to you. A job like Ambassador shouldn't fall onto a child. Dad, no, this isn't your doing. None of this is your fault. Besides, I accepted the position, and I want to keep doing it. This... what's been happening... 
is on me. It's been snowballing ever since we left the underground. Hmm? Let's say that you had an ability to undo everything you did. Any good thing, any bad thing, and no one would remember afterwards. Would you use it? Hmm. The chance to undo every single thing I've done, every atrocity I've ever committed erased. And that would sound like an ideal power to have, wouldn't it? After all, I've done deplorable things in the past. Reversing that would probably be something I would have wanted back then. But even for the sake of argument, that the ability was real. I don't think I could ever bring myself to use it. Right now I am content. My people have finally reached the surface after so many years being trapped in the dark. And now we have the sun and the stars. My family is safe and happy. And I have this cabin surrounded by nature and quiet. There isn't a thing I would change. Not even if you could go back to stop yourself from taking those human souls? But why? Because, little one. I'm afraid that's not how life is supposed to work. I made my bed with those choices of mine, and now I must lie in it. These are the consequences of my actions. Not even an old king like me should be free of those. Only looking at the past isn't healthy, Frisk. If you only think about what you could have done before, you'll miss the chance to decide on what you want to do now. If you have the determination to, you can learn from your past mistakes instead of running from them. Become the person you want to be here and now when it really matters. Yeah, you're right. We shouldn't be running or looking back anymore. And there's something that I should tell you. The reason why I mentioned the power to undo everything. It's... It's actually... I'm... There... I... Can... Frisk, what's wrong? Are you all right? Uh, I think I need a minute. I don't understand, little one. Maybe- Just a minute. I promise. What do you want now, Kara? I am done waiting, Frisk. And your 48 hours are up. Frisk, hold on. What is- Howdy, Toriel. I'm afraid now might not be- Frisk? Actually, yes. They came to my home to... Well, they seem... You've been ignoring my warnings long enough, Frisk. I'm done watching you play around. So if you don't wrap it up and reset, I'll force you to. You done? Or do you plan to keep monologuing for a bit longer? Depends. Are you still planning on giving me the attitude again? <sighs> nah. I had my fun. You win. Let's reset. Right now. You actually decided to grow a brain cell and see reason? Sure did. Huh? Well, what are you waiting for? Is this your idea of a joke? No, but I gotta say. The fact that you were so dead set on resetting that you never once stopped to check and see if I still could does make for a pretty good punchline. Stop, Stop pretending, pretending to be that, that stupid, stupid skeleton. skeleton. You, you mean to tell me that you knew about this the whole time and you still took all that punishment from me? Why? Well, it's not like I didn't deserve it. I deserved everything you dished out. I guess it's just my consequences. Hmm. So now you're the noble martyr. Kara, this game has to stop now. We can't keep toying with everyone's lives like we're gods. The bad stuff happened, but we have to move on now. It's like what Dad said. Obsessing over the past isn't healthy. He's not your dad! What? Is that what this is about now? Because that's another thing. Your motivation for all of this is about as straightforward as a hedge maze. You punish me for killing, but then you want to go back and finish the job. You get angry about resets, when that's exactly what you want me to do anyways. And then when I try to finally come clean about it, you always stop me, even though you want me to admit what I've done. And to top it off, out of nowhere you don't want me to call Asgore dad? T 
don't act like you know. Oh, I know all right. Either you're the world's biggest hypocrite, or you're so hell-bent on being angry at me that you've forgotten what you were even angry about in the first place. <sighs> Be angry at me if you really have to, but leave them out of this. <gasps> it's your fault for bringing them into this. So you want to know why I hate you so much? Why I'm so angry and want to erase them all? It's because of you. You corrupted them all in the first place with your 123 resets. And now they're all beyond saving. So, since you've decided to be difficult, I guess we really are doing things my way. Let's start by getting back that other half of our soul. You wouldn't. No, you can't. <coughs> you don't have a choice anymore. Frisk, your mother would like to speak to you. Frisk. 